Hello everyone and welcome to yet another fly tying session. Uh, my name is Daniel um, and as always if you need any of the materials uh, uh, used in this video you can find them all at Nordic Anglers. Today we're going to tie a salmon or, or a sea trout fly. I like this in particular, it's, it's one of Fordin's pattern, it's called the butterfly, uh, the butterfly kraken. But I like this very much because this is also very compatible with fishing for sea trouts, uh, big sea trouts in, in the rivers at night here in Denmark. So here goes. Now we're going to tie this uh, this Kraken uh, tube fly on the Frodin system. Really, really awesome looking fly that fishes exceptionally well. I, I fished a lot with something very, very similar to this one last year and had a lot of sea trouts on it. Uh, so, um, so, but you know, why, why, why invent something that is already there? So, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to do this one from now on. This is the Kraken butterfly. Here goes. So here goes. The first thing we need is, of course, some tube. Um, here I use the uh, the medium uh, Frodin uh, Fitz tube uh, in clear, just a piece of that, and then and then uh, a smaller piece of the X small um, of the X small Frodin tube as well. So I place uh, uh, one inside the other here, and then on the on the needle. And then I just press on the uh, on the uh, on the X small because this will this will fill out the uh, the other tube. Then I apply a lot of pressure on the first when first I tie this down so that the two tubes will be interlocked due to this. There we go, tying all the way out on the on the clear tube. And then the first thing we need to do is, is make the butt of this fly. And the butt is going to be of a mylar tinsel in Mirage. And this is also going to be my rib. So I'm just going to take a, 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 a piece of this and add to, the, uh, add to the tube here. Turn this all around. As I said, this is a nice, nice uh, uh, sea trout for, for cowboy and vile and, uh, and stuff like that in Denmark. But also a, a good fly for, for Norway and Sweden. Um, and it, you know, basically just for 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 sea trout anywhere where you fish in the night, uh, but but I think Frodin also developed this pattern as as a fly for salmon, so so this will definitely catch some salmon as well. So there we go, and then it's time to tie down our tail, and for this I'm going to use some some fluorescent uh, pink. A fluorescent pink fluorofiber. You can use Antron yarn or 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 something along those lines as well. The fluorofiber here is, is something I, I I really like, and it's it's very fluorescent. It's 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 very vibrant and intense in color. There we go. I think this is about the right amount. You can see I had a, a small piece laying around, uh, or or I had a stump on the on the on the shank on the hank here. So so uh, normally I would have I would have tied this down double and and then doubled it so in order not to spill too much material. But but this was just this was just ready to go almost. I'm gonna taper this by cutting. There we go. And of course, you can tie this in in any size that you like. I think this one here is about one and a half centimeter. Uh, maybe it's more, probably more than more like two centimeters. And I think that's a good size for the for the river that I in, I intend to fish. There we go. Then I'm gonna take my my mylar. No, not my mylar. My uh, my flat tinsel here. My opal tinsel. And tie this down. So this is gonna be the rib here of the fly leave it off to the side and then i'm going to take some dubbing here and for this i'm going to use some spawn dubbing uh, that has some uh, some uh, some fluorescent uh, pink fibers inter intermixed with the black it's it's a really it has an awesome effect and it looks so great on the uh, on the water and it's just very 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 fluorescent i'm just going to fix my bobbin here you can you can always fish fix a a squealing bobby bobbin with not a squealing bobby i don't know how to fix those <laughs> but a squealing bobbin by by simply just you know rubbing it here where there's always going to be some natural reserves of uh, 
you know, all sorts of good stuff. <laughs> See, now, see here how how nice and smooth it now is. You could also use some uh, if 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 you do not like the the natural grease of your nose. Uh, again, again a sen sentence I never thought I was gonna say. I never expected to say that sentence, at least out loud. Um, then you can you can use the the some dubbing wax or or something like like that. There we go. Yeah, perfect. Just wanted to make sure that there wasn't any holes in the dubbing on your side. Just apply a bit more dubbing here. And then when I'm really close to where the tubes end, the, the clear tube end, I'm going to make a couple of turns here on just on the edge of the tube here. I hope you can you can see that and then I'm gonna really apply some pressure to make sure that this this first of all will make the the tube in front of it bulge a bit up but it will also really make sure that the inner tube stays there and this is uh, this is crucial for the next part of the fly because now we're gonna we're gonna tie down a feather here on top so and and that's gonna that's gonna be kind of like a kind of like the wings of a butterfly at least I think that's what what Frodin means when he says the butterflies. Um, and uh, this feather here is, is one I've used because we're going to use one for hackle as well. So this feather here, you're going to basically have something along these lines here. Uh, and, and you're going to tie this just on top of the fly. So so it will it will collapse when when the when when you pull this, but it will it will stand out again. It will pop back out as soon as there are no pressure on the fly. I'm going to tie one of these down just here on top here. Right there. Now this feather is not the best I see. I'm going to take another feather. This is too mangled. I got too far down uh, so the so the hackle stem was was too broad. I'm going to take another feather here. Have I, do I have someone one that has been used already. Nah, not really. This one is thinner, so. And this one is a bit too long for the hackle as well, so this one will do nicely. There we go. There we go. See, now I have the feather. And I'm going to tie this on top here. Just where the uh, where the clear tube ends. There we go. You can see. Oh, I forgot something. Sorry, I forgot my rib. <laughs> we go one step back and then we tie. Uh, we we turn the rib here. Let's see how that looks. And that looks pretty nice on your side as well. Fairly even and and good. There we go. And then we're going to tie this down just on top here. So it will give it a broad profile when you're not actively, when, when the fly is, you know, is, is just hanging in the current. But as soon as, 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 you, as you pull it again, uh, the feathers are going to collapse and just really, really just pulsate in the water. There we go. Going to cut that away. And then on top of this, we want a wing from Marble Fox or, or Arctic Fox. Um, just to give it a bit more bulk. Yeah, this looks nice. This should be slightly longer. Slightly longer than the, uh, than the, uh, the actual ostrich. There we go. Again, I'm tying this on top of the, uh, of the, uh, of the clear tube because if we tied this down on the, on the, on the pink tube, we would have this, this major, major bundle of the tube of the clear tube, which would, which would make it stand in a, in a very strange angle up from the fly, and that's not the intention. That's not the effect we're going for here. So. 
applied a bit more pressure. And then we're going to take a soft hackle here. Um, uh, Frodin uses a full pink one, but I really, really just, I adore these, uh, these, uh, uh, I can't remember, why can't, black laced, black laced whiting. I have them in, in all the different colors and, and the, the effect of these feathers just looks amazing. So if you're in the market for something really, really awesome and, and unique and, and just, just, just beautiful. And these are available in, I think, 12 or 13 different or 15 different colors, pink, purple, orange, black, red, and, and so on. And they are just, they are just so, so high quality, the feathers. And, and the result uh, of using these just looks absolutely amazing. There we go. Cut away the stump. And then the first one, maybe two turns I'm gonna do of the feather here, I'm gonna do on top of the, uh, on top of the clear tube. And then carefully I'm gonna move the, uh, the hackle up in front of the of the uh, of the clear tube to have the perfect transition transition i want one more turn there we go gonna tie down the per pink hackle here carefully cut away the pink hackle stem And now what we need is uh, we need a front hackle made from ostrich as well. So I'm going to take one of these ostrich feathers, preferably one of those that are uh, depending on the size of the fly, of course, but you want one that doesn't get too long too fast and uh, where the hackle stem doesn't get too big too fast. I'll tie this down in the tip. here so the upper side is pointing towards me and this again will give a really really lively hackle it will it will make the fly completely come together and and it will it will give it a broad profile with a lot of movement which all of those ugh, and of course it snapped off <laughs> just gonna reattach it one second. Sorry about that. You know, stuff happens. It happens to everyone. There we go. Then I'm going to turn the ostrich here, making sure every time I take a turn here that the feather, the feathers are folded backwards. Now you can see it it gets it gets it gets long quite fast here. So make sure try not to get too much ahead, too much uh, up the uh, up the pink tube because if it if you get too far up the pink tube then the pro properties and and the proportions of the fly is not going to look it's not going to look that that ideal. There we go. Gonna tie this down, securing the ostrich here before before it gets too thick. Cut away the ostrich. Fold the ostrich back, and then force it down. There we go. And now it's it's important to cut away all of the leftover ostrich hackle here like so then i'm going to take a small amount of uh, of uh, of pink uh, angel hair to add a bit of a bit more bling to the fly there we go gonna cut away that and it's it's too long so maybe yeah that looks better and then I'm gonna take two uh, pro sports fisher uh, jungle cock. I think this is a size small, 
this is uh, this is one of the uh, he he has uh, two different packages this is the bulk pack where you get where you get quite a lot of uh, a lot more uh, value for your money and if you tie a lot of flies then these bulk packs are are really really awesome otherwise the the the, the ordinary pack is 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 quite good as well but if you know you're going to tie a lot of flies in the same size then then i recommend the bulk pack it is as as it said it is a bulk pack so you get you get more vo value for money more volume for money value as well one on my side and then i'm gonna attach the other to your side there we go applying some pressure then i'm gonna do my whip finish and of course some varnish so Sabagap, but my Sabagap has has completely locked up inside my bottle here. So I'll I'll need to get another one from the from the warehouse. But I don't have one with me right here. So I'm just gonna use some ordinary varnish, some some Beneki, which is quite nice as well. And then for the finishing touch of this fly, I'm gonna take one of the Fitz uh, turbo cones. Um, and and uh, Frodin makes these in three different sizes. This is the middle size, the uh, X small. And depending on the size of the fly, of course, you you can choose exactly the one that you want. But he also makes two different uh, of two diff He makes them from two different materials. This one is made from brass, and this is uh, this is the one that I want for this pattern because I want this fly to be. Uh, to be near the surface. I do not want this to fish very, very deep. I want this to be near the surface because I'm going to use it in at night for 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 uh, for sea trout, and uh, and this way I can probably get it to make a very nice uh, a very nice wake as it crosses uh, as it crosses the the river. So basically, you just push this all the way back, and if you have not done the uh, if you've not done it correctly, then you will have a small gap here uh, uh, in front of uh, between the hackle and uh, and the disc here. I think my mine is actually yeah, it's 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 quite good. I'm gonna take the fly off the vise here or close to off the vise, cut away the tube. I'm gonna melt this down with my liner. There we go. And there we have it. So as you can see now here underneath, you can see how this really is, is a really, really broad profiled fly because of the ostrich here. It has the wing as well to, to kind of make the center of the fly. Uh, the, uh, the disc here is, uh, is, is, flor is, is luminescent. So it's it's glow in the dark. So if you shine a light on there, you can, you can have this fly have a, a, a glowing tip if you if you like that for for the uh, uh, for the night fishing as well um and well this is uh, this is my kraken uh, butterfly kraken um and uh, and of course you can buy the full material kit for this fly in in my web shop at nordic anglers just uh, just uh, just go to nordic anglers and google kraken but you can also buy the fly from Fodin if you do not want to mess around with with tying this yourself then we have the kraken in in the shop um, uh, from Frodin, um, so you can you can buy the the, the ready made fly as well. So um, well, I guess that's all for now. As always, thank you so much for watching. And uh, if ever you need any fly tying or any fly fishing gear, swing by Nordic Anglers. Uh, we have an amazing amount of different st different stuff. Um, otherwise, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. That would mean a lot to me. Um, otherwise, um, good luck out on the water. Hope you catch a lot of fish. Thank you for watching.